Hello, hello, dears, and welcome to the beach of Altea. We were supposed to show you the brand new businesses that are waiting for you out here. But instead, apart from the new businesses, we will show you everything that's going on because there's a massive change that I'm quite sure will change forever on how many people love or hate the beach of Altea and why so many people do not visit it while they're here on holidays. Let's go and explore all the changes together. We are situated right next to the brand newly refurbished promenade of the beach here in Altea, which is, this is how it looks like the very, very beginning. However, there is a change that we did not expect today when we came here towards the beach. And it's this one right here. As you all might know, the beach of Altea is very, very well known due to its giant rocks. These are not pebbles. These are giant rocks. And not a lot of people like it. Not a lot of people were visiting it simply because of the fact that it's not a comfortable beach to stay on due to the giant stones. Even with specific shoes for the beach, it's just not comfortable enough. And look at that, surprise, surprise. All this area looks like it will be fixed. They're taking down all the huge rocks and you will see it slightly further down. It's quite probable they will put some smaller pebbles or maybe they will even put sand here back again. By the way, all this part is also a part of another project. This promenade will continue and they'll renew it, the town hall of Altea. They will renew it shortly. So it will all be looking like this one right here. Brand new, gorgeous place to have a lovely walk and enjoy the time as well as many useful businesses located here in the area. Let's go and check out which are the major changes. First of all, as you all know, the Altea Beach Promenade, this brand new beach is a pedestrian zone only. There is a possibility to walk with a mobility scooter or bring your bicycle with you. But in theory, bicycles are not allowed on this promenade. They need to go down the uh, national road that is located towards our left side. There is no bicycle trail here whatsoever, so it's pedestrian only. There are a lot of interesting sculptures, figures, a lot of typical trees here from the region, even fruit trees, which actually um, makes us really, really happy because we see all the mandarins, we see uh, different types of oranges and lemons out here each time when we come. So it's incredible to see the area that changed. And a lot of the buildings that are situated out here also have increased in value quite a lot. Uh, so a lot of people are still purchasing it while the price is not as high. Here we have a sign saying that this is a shared area. So it's only 10 kilometers per hour, the bicycle and the scooter. Bear that in mind, just in case if you're using one. You cannot go really, really fast out here because the priority is for the pedestrians. There's a lot of sitting area where you can sit down and enjoy the views. Surrounded by trees that actually smell incredible. This is an orange tree blossoming. right now to the beach as you can see it's all closed so people cannot access it but if we go slightly higher up look at this they're cleaning all the part of the beach with some soil and all this will be ready for the brand new summer season shortly they're picking up all the big pebbles and substituting them with the smaller ones or with the ground itself putting a lot of water on it too, probably for the soil to be more compact. Not sure if you can see it right there in front of us. That's actually very, very good news. And hopefully the beach will become even better than it used to be. I wish they would put sand on here. Imagine how perfect that would be for all those who love this area. Let's enjoy the restaurants because there is a huge variety of different types of foods you can find out here. And for a perfect day out, let's say in Altea's old town, 
and finish it up with a nice restaurant here is a perfect touch for the day there are a lot of Italian places for example this one which is restaurant pizzeria uh, la tradizionale then you have pizzeria and rice place right here that is quite new very very nicely decorated I like it have menu of the day for 1990 by the way which are two main courses uh, including the dessert including the coffee and bread another very very teeny tiny place pizza and pastas this is new this restaurant is quite new there's live music on Saturdays here starting from 7 p.m. actually quite interesting high class type of style decoration but the prices are okay here you have carpaccio 1350 gambas pilpil -pil, which are shrimps 12.95 bruschetta 6.95 calamars 850 nachos they didn't put a price but previously it was 11.50 restaurant charelles looks very fancy doesn't it live music on saturday 7 p.m on saturday 7 p.m it's supposed to be a very very nice atmosphere out here i suppose due to all this live music going on even in winter time some clothing shoes accessories 29 euros for a blouse 20 everything 35 euros so that's actually kind of expensive 20 euros for a bag 25 for shoes my goodness i think it's slightly too much isn't it homemade tapas this is a newer place it's called uh, six six caprichos like six caprichos and this is actually a place where um, a lot of people are coming it's brand new so people are just discovering it right now and uh, i've heard some good words about it on the rocks altea this is our favorite mineral shop out here they have minerals fossils jewelry stones and much much more if you're a fan of that and you want to bring something special even like a jewelry for you from your holidays this is where you could potentially purchase it have some competitive prices and if you pay in cash you get a discount ice cream place this is homemade like traditional recipe ice creams here they have also milkshakes um, slushies smoothies etc this is called Kakerucho, another cafeteria. I have a breakfast, coffee, tea plus toast with a tomato and freshly pressed orange juice, $3.95. That's actually not a bad price, same as in Benidorm. Then you have crepe or waffle, coffee and or tea, $3.95. The same with a cake, $4.50. Coffee, tea and a croissant, $2.50 Not bad at all. Not bad at all. Then you have typical shops with some more clothing. They have discounts right now because the winter season is officially over here between all the sculptures between all the fruit trees there's even a teeny tiny park for pets so if you are traveling with your pet or maybe you want to live here who knows there's a teeny tiny park for your beloved animals here right by the beach privileged location isn't it there are also some um, pictures out here these are photographs of authentic art uh, for people to look at it to enjoy it and these are from 1942-45 this is an exhibition that Altea put here to inform about the art from this area about the painters you know Altea is mecca for artists actually and there's a lot of painters that are coming here for an inspiration which makes us really really happy because as soon as you go to the old town you can see a lot of art galleries around it you can see a lot of painters some people even sitting down by the seashore or in the old town at some teeny tiny streets and making the painting of their lives and creating non-stop japanese place wabi sabi this is japanese food place let's see what the prices actually are because i'm quite intrigued so you have information in English and in Spanish, I suppose. Start oh, that's actually very nice. Starters from 3.90. Miso soup, you have sashimi, hosomaki, sushi, nigiri, temaki, gyozas, you have tempura, suramaki, so you have a lot of different things out here. Tuna poke bowls, 15.90 for a tuna poke bowl, mix box, wasabi box. Ooh, that's very, very nice. Wabi sabi box, 54.90. That's for quite a lot of people, I suppose all the allergens 
flame rolls salmon aburi eight units 14.90 let us know if you find it expensive i think this is not the cheapest obviously place that we've seen but still it's quite all right this is a brand new place too this is kaliu uh, this is it's set to be mediterranean braised type of kitchen so they do all of it like braised food uh, here it says only in Spanish, so I'm not supposed... Oh, they have burrata salads, poke bowls. They have a lot of different types of... Even paella, meats, fish, breakfast, toast. I wonder if they have it in English as well. Okay, to start, to continue. And these are the prices on the, on the, um, on the side. Men, plate of the day, rice with sepia and bacalao, 7 euros. Not bad at all. Hmm. That's quite quite interesting cozy place to come and then we have way more to go don't think that that's over there's way way more to go obviously when you come to the beach of Altea one of the top stops would be this lovely sign with symbolizing the waves symbolizing the sea there's some starfish on it right by the ship and it says Altea so this is where a lot of people are taking pictures while they're coming here on holidays and I would recommend you to do the same thing because that's already an authentic tradition here in town. All this beach will also be prepared, I suppose, for the summer season. They're preparing the main one and then this one will be next turn. Quite probably at the end of it, there is a lovely chiringuito. I'm not sure if you can see it right there at the end where obviously in summer you can get some drinks, snacks while you're at the beach, some cocktails maybe, uh, and sandwiches, ice cream, obviously for the children, that's ideal if you're planning to spend a whole day by the beach. We continue with some more places, apart from real estate agencies, there's quite a few of them here. There is uh, this lovely place right here and people love it. It has some nice breakfast, nice tapa sandwiches, hamburgers, sausages, whatever it is. It's called the Österreicher from 1983 and I actually love it. I actually love this place. We've been here quite a few times uh, throughout all this time living here in the region and I must say that this place is very good and very well known between locals and tourists too some more menu places that offer drinks snacks cocktails and apart from that menus of the day this menu here is slightly more expensive 21.75 it includes either dessert or coffee that's all this big place uh, but to be honest with you 21.75 is quite expensive cube what is it Wi-Fi connection. Oh, it has Wi-Fi free of charge. Look at this. That's actually very nice. Sensors, green energy chargers on the phone. Okay, all right. So you just sit down here. You can charge your phone. You can use the internet connection. I like it. That's very, very good news. Then we have some more places. Gastron Italian gastronomy. Look at this. It's called Paseo, the walk or the promenade in other words. On this side, it's in Spanish. Let's see if it's in, in English on the other side. Nope, it, it isn't. It's in Spanish. Okay. You have pizzas starting from 11 euros, entrees starting from 10, pasta starting from 11, salads from 8 euros, tapas from 4 euros, meats from 12, desserts 7 euros. These are the usual more or less prices out here. Some more restaurants, traditional type of cuisine. There's some Mexican places here. There's Japanese, the brand new one that we've seen. There's chocolates valor. Surprisingly, here in Altea, it's way more popular than it is, let's say, in Benidorm, because one of these places closed down. Here in Altea, it's so, so big, and there's so many people every single day. They have uh, even uh, bocadillos. They have like toast sandwiches with the coffee. Obviously, they have options for sweet tooth. They have options with the different types of desserts, with um, hot coffee, with churros, and much, much more. So it's a good place where to go. Here we have another Indian restaurant, for example. Quite all right. Let's see the menu. Bread in the oven, mozzarella, 
pizzas. Pizzas? Why does the Indian restaurant has pizzas in it? I don't get it. Obviously, then you have uh, all the Indian type of food, but like margarita pizza, nine fifty. Menu of the day, nineteen euros. By the way, that's a typical like Indian menu dessert plus drink included. If you want some coffee, then that would be extra charge. And they also do takeaways. A lot of these places they do takeaways, by the way. Uh, so it's great if you're staying somewhere if you do not wish to eat here and you want something quicker then this might be a good option for you but this traditional chinese medicine what in the world is that never seen it before a lot of these places have been refurbished they've been repurchased and refurbished menu of the day 1690 this is a typical spanish place they have menus for uh, 1690 for 1150 they have tapas here and a lot of other different options just opening up a lot of these places are opening up right now simply because it's midday when we're filming the video and they're just starting the day this one right here la maja this looks like it it's not existing place this is a very fancy restaurant by the way really really fancy if it would be a hotel it would be five stars but it's for sale right now it's closed because obviously it was so expensive it's insane Ooh, here forward that's new too oh my god there's so many new places these are grilled like charcoal grilled uh, meats and foods oh that's nice look at this how lovely meat on fire it says <laughs> that's interesting that's an interesting um translation well i mean i guess they're not wrong with it right then we have some more cafeterias, Thai massage places. Here we have mix of tapas. Oh, look at this. For two people, mix of tapas, 21.95. I guess 22 euros for two people, one for 11 euros. That's not bad at all. Menu of the day, 19.95. Fish tapas, like seafood. They mean seafood and fish tapas. Then you have authentic Thai cuisine. Oh my goodness, probably that's even the same owner. Look at this, how convenient. Massage and then the food. Ryokucha, that's another, that's a Japanese kitchen too. Quite a nice place, beach barbecue restaurant. So it's like a fusion, I suppose. Let's see what they have out here. Oh, I love different new places. Samosa curry, salad with tempura, duck, crispy duck, kimchi, 380, sashimi, four pieces. Hmm, maki, eight pieces. I mean, they could do it slightly better in Vest already, like in papers. No, I mean, it's good quality pictures and all that, but like with all the papers like this, it looks, it doesn't look right. So if they have like a fancy restaurant on the inside with the bamboo, with like a sea touches, they should invest in the quality of the papers they, they leave. And that's a sushi bar. That's the same. Ryokucha, probably they've changed from this one to the bigger location which means the business is going quite well quite happy about it it's always great when businesses work well this is a brand new building that's been recently built i'm sure you remember if you look at the videos of the altea beach promenade from a year ago uh, they're just finishing it so there's no one living there just yet they're making all the rest of the touches there's still no furniture nothing but these houses my god they will have some gorgeous views towards the sea look at this they'll have these views every single morning especially from higher floors that's absolutely insane brand new place too the king it's called this is a um, mexican type of place nice food interesting food uh, decently priced and this is brand brand new so they're just opening it this season homemade ice creams and a coffee place also great to grab some coffee some light breakfast with a croissant really really recommend it and then towards the end of the promenade with the businesses it doesn't actually end out here okay it still continues towards the very very end but there is no businesses out there any longer it's just like a promenade to walk here you have some lovely shops for wine 
and typical Spanish olive oil, for example, like a gourmet type of place. So if you want to search something like this, close for holidays up until 27 of February. So, okay, so it's basically yesterday or today, but it, it should be over now. Oh, quinoa brunch and boutique. So they do serve quinoa and it's a bio cafe. That's great. You have poke bowls, salads out here. I've never understood the concept of drinks, food, and clothing. Can, I, can someone actually explain it to me? I don't get it. Truly, I don't get it. Have pancakes, waffles, gluten free options. It's actually very, very good. This is landscape and maintenance. Looks like a cafeteria inside. <laughs> Mood, that's also a newer place. Pizza, tapas, bistro bar, cocktails, cafeteria, all in one, I would dare to say. And it's if you when when you see that the place is full, it means that it's working quite quite well. It wouldn't be full if if it wouldn't be a good place, if it wouldn't be good quality food and reasonably priced, trust me. This is Seto, this is a brand new place too. Uh, they have an interesting place to take pictures and quite nice offers out here i love that they have these type of sofas spritz they have chocolate hot chocolate wine sangrias cocktails okay interesting and then we're officially at the end of the promenade with all the business by the way right there to our left side we have the bus stop that will bring you directly back to benidorm for example right there crossroad and there's a bus stop and there is the Altea city center as well as the old town so everything is quite quite close this is what the promenade is looking like right now end of february just a couple of days before the official calendar spring will start you've seen the prices you've seen a lot of different useful information i suppose and all the massive changes Altea is undergoing right now thank you for accompanying us on today's video Hope you enjoyed watching it and we'll see you in a new video here on the channel tomorrow. Bye, Dees.